Good morning. It's it is Saturday morning. It's one minute to twelve. I made it to the morning time. Hi everybody. I'm the Crafty Floridian, and uh, yes, I have my uh, a t-shirt on with kitty cats on it. It's my it's Saturday, right? You're supposed to wear t-shirts and stuff. Well, anyway, I got some more packages today. The squares are coming in like crazy, and I'm so excited because I. I'm hopefully going to start on putting the blanket together uh, this weekend. Um, what I wanted to tell you first is I want to thank everybody for the response. It has just warmed my heart. I'm just whew, I'm just overwhelmed about everything lately. It's really kind of hitting me hard. All this uh, compassion and, and generosity from everybody. And this morning I watched Cindy. Uh, Cindy Hart's, um, oh, Cindy, 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 wait a minute, I gotta, Cindy Hart's crochet, she made the drawing for the beautiful blanket that she made for the cancer research, breast cancer research, and, whew, she had me in tears, <laughs> yeah, it's, um, you know, I think we've all been hit by someone that's had cancer, my, my brother had Hodgson's lymphoma, I was diagnosed with Hodgson lymphoma on my lower lid of my eye, but thank God it didn't spread through my body. But every year I have to go through the test and all that stuff. So, you know, you just, um, you just never know. Uh, had some skin cancer. I had carcinoma on my belly and had a big chunk. They should have taken the whole belly out, but no, they had to take just a little chunk. Had to go back three times to get the the markings done but yeah that was a that was the biggest skin cancer I've ever had um, but I've had basal cell and um, what was it uh, basal cell and squash squamone well oh, I can't pronounce it this morning you're the first people I've talked to <laughs> I don't talk to many people you know that but anyway I just wanted to I have a couple things I wanted to do this morning uh, first of all, I know you're getting sick of my face. I've been screwing up so much on these videos. I'm going to try to cut back on that. But um, I just wanted to, um, um, as I get these uh, squares, I wanted to share them with you because then that way it gives you some idea of what uh, people are making and what you would like to make. Uh, and John, just to let you know, John, my favorite mailman, is back. He came and knocked on the door and waited till I came and he gave me my packages and uh, I told him I missed him, which I did, and I'm going to uh, make something special for him for the holidays. So, um, and Penny, she was out in the hall too, so we had a little a little reunion this morning in the hallway. <laughs> me, me in my t-shirt. I usually have a long dress on or, you know, a moo, moo or something on, but I just had a t-shirt on today. But anyway, um, so let me share with you first. I just want to let you know you saw that I completed number 18. Now I'm on number 19 of my un, um, Unravel Mitten uh, blanket. So now I think after 19, I got 20. I don't know if 21 has come out yet or not, but then we'll have 20. But I'm getting caught up. I'm getting caught up. But I'm running out of colors to use. I'm sure I'm just going to have to do some duplicates. But anyway, that's what I would say. Now, first of all, I wanted to tell you that I heard from Kim up to Upshaw. Let me write that down. I My pen ran out of ink. And I lost the top to it. Uh, Kim Upshaw from Ontario, Canada. She won the Out of the U.S. Um, uh, gift certificate and I'm going to send her a couple little things too in the mail and uh, from Amazon so that's going to be like an e-card that I'll send her and then she can um, she can use it any way she wants to on Amazon and she said that she's never won anything and then when she got the um, when she saw that she had won she screamed and her husband thought maybe she had stepped on the cat's tail 
<laughs> she's so excited. She says never won anything. So that makes me so happy, Kim, because I know I've seen you uh, uh, comment a lot and you watch some of my videos. So you're the you're you're one that I know for sure. So I'm real excited for you. Uh, the first winner of the U.S. Um, Cassandra Strifey, she um, emailed me, and she's uh, real excited. Uh, she had said she only, she was down to her last four or five skeins of yarn, and um, she uh, was kind of. I read her story, and it's kind of sad. She just became homeless. So, and uh, and I hope you guys don't mind, but I might add some extra yarn to her box. I might put in a, a bigger box and add some yarn to it because I want her to make her blankets and stuff. That's important to us crocheters, right? So, Cassandra, if you if you watch this, I am going to send you some more yarn because I shouldn't have all this yarn when you don't have any. Um, people have sent me so much and I'm so appreciative and I want to share with you guys because it's just it's just I'm overwhelmed with it and if I can share with you man I'm going to do it so she said that there was some yarn there she's never used before so it's going to be kind of exciting for her so I am going to do that for Cassandra uh, Vivian Fairchild I have not heard from yet but I'm sure we will hopefully before Tuesday and if I haven't heard by Tuesday, then I will choose another winner. So, um, so that's great. I'm real excited. I, uh, Kim seems to be real excited, so I'm, I'm, you know, real anxious to. Uh, I'll get everything worked out and sent to her. So, in saying that, um, let, I even took notes, guys. I'm taking notes. I know, I know. I usually don't do that. I don't get organized. I just blabber on, right? But I took notes. Okay. The first package we got was from Karen in Charlotte, North Carolina. One of my, my home state. Well, you know, I was raised I was raised in North Carolina until I was about seven or eight in a little town called Aiden, A-Y-D-E-N, which is right nine miles uh, south southeast of... Um, Greenville, North Carolina, between Greenville and Kenston. That's all that little area in there. I know that area really well because, you know, every until my grandmother died in 2006 or something like that, you know, we, we she, was, she was born in 03, 2000, 2003, 2002 or 03, one of those. Maybe it was 02 that she died or 03 because she was 99 and a half. She was born in 1903. So, yeah, somewhere in there. But anyway, she lived, she lived to be a nice old lady, let me tell you. And let me tell you something else. That woman, she drank beer until they put her in the nursing home. She'd get those tall boys, and she would drink a whole six-pack at night. And then she'd wobble down to her. And remember, this house doesn't have uh, central heat or anything like that. She would go around about, oh, probably about 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. And she would turn all the... Um, electric blankets on especially if there was company there but she'd go through and turn all the electric blankets on so when everybody got ready to bed they crawl into those electric blankets and that's what she slept under for probably well they hadn't probably even invented the electric blanket when she was small but when they invented them she got them and that's what she slept under but um yeah she's she was my grandmother was something else i'll tell you i admired her a lot there was no one was a stranger like my mother. No, m my mom was the same way. No one was a stranger. And um, you always knew that you were welcome in her home. It didn't matter what you did, who you were, whatever. You were always welcome. Anyway, so let me let me get to Karen's. I haven't opened. I, I snipped them, but I haven't read them or looked at their. Oh, look at this. This is very popular. Uh Well, thank you, Karen. She just said, hope, th hope uh, these are okay. I just love watching you and Cheryl's channel. Hope everything turns out okay with your knee. Best wishes, Karen from Charlotte, North Carolina. And she made these. Aren't they perfect? Perfect, perfect. Look at these. Yes, the colors and everything. 
Karen, they're perfect. Just perfect. Red, white, and blue. I love them. And just to let you know, I'm keeping a list. And I was going to do the whole address, but then I decided just to do your name and the, um, you know, where you're from. No addresses or anything. Uh, for lists for, for Cheryl to go with the blanket. Cool, huh? So thank you very much, Karen. And there. And then we got from, I know who this is from, from South Dakota, Vermillion, no name, blank card, <laughs> I hope it's for me, ooh, boy, this is going to be some kind of gorgeous blanket, I'll tell you right now, beauty comes in all shapes and sizes, <laughs> isn't that cute? I don't see any fat bodies up there. I knew it was from you. Thanks. Thanks for sewing the squares together for Cheryl's blanket. Love you, sister. Love McDonald. Our friendship is the perfect fit. Isn't that cute? That's from Madonna. I knew it was from Madonna. That's South Dakota, which is south of North Dakota. Okay. And she sent... Oh, look at that. She said these little squares. Aren't they cute? Oh, and look at this one. Red, white, and blue. Boy, you're just getting very talented here, Madonna. <laughs> Whoops. Let's turn this around. That's pretty. Whew. That's our Madonna. She put a little thing in there to make it smell good. Ooh, you're so sweet, Madonna. Okay. What do I do with those other, other, uh, oh, okay. I'm trying to keep track. Oh, I put them over there. Okay, let me put these over there, too. I got a little basket over here that I'm putting these in. And then I'm, I'm going to have to put those right there. One of your little gray hairs were in there, Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that gray hair girl. Okay. We got one from Diane Sharp. I love you, Diane. She's from New Jersey. Okay, I'm pulling it out. Oh, this is so pretty. I love these. Oh, look at this. Look at this from Diane. Look at these. These are just gorgeous. They're perfect. Perfect, perfect. Very pretty. Thank you, Diane. This is so pretty. Uh, here's my granny square for Cheryl. It's not the best, but I don't do granny squares much. Well, you, f my friend from New Jersey, which is my birth state, was born in Long Branch, New Jersey. Just thought I'd just throw that in there. Isn't that pretty, guys? This is pretty. I love it. You did a good job, girl. You did. You did a perfect. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Let me put this on top of these. Okay. I got one more bag to open. <clears throat> now this is from Chiquita in California. That's Deborah, if you don't know. She's my little. I've adopted her. Oh my gosh. What in the world? She does this. Look at this. <laughs> Look what she made. Or she sent me. A little. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cute? I know. It's for one of my dolls, isn't it? <laughs> I have to make her a doll and put this little hat on there. What else did she make? Oh, she made a little. What is this? A little hat. Is this a hat for the doll? Well, I have to read the note. Let's see. That's got to be a note. Here we go. Billy, many hugs and prayers and love from California. Precious friend. Sending a hat. Well, a sombra sombrero. That's what it is. Sombrero. He, he, he. Found it at a thrift. A cozy coaster cup for a regular cup. Oh, that's what this is. Oh, okay. Small fabric and Cheryl Square. Love you, Deborah. Deborah Chiquita Crochet. 
Oh, that's what it is. It's for a small cup. But that's, this is my Canadian Crutcher cup that Debbie sent me. And it says, talk soon. I love when she says that. Talk soon. I never drink coffee, but I had a bad night last night. And I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you about that. So I needed to wake up today. But this is a, a cup cozy. Thank you so much. Look, it's got snap. Is it snap? Yeah. Are they real snaps? Sure, they're real snaps. Boy, those are snaps are on there. Look at that. See? Look at that. Oh, oh. Duh. The light bulb just went on. Plus, the sun just came out. Look at this. Put it on the... Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, snap down. There you go. Look. It looks crooked up at that side. Oh, I see. Look at that. I love this idea. See how it goes around. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. I love it. Oh, that's perfect. My sombrero. Oh, that looks so cute. I cute. And she sent me a little craft fabric 100% cotton I always look make sure it's 100% cotton because you know when I make my cozies and stuff wait a minute oh my gosh it's time just going by so fast anyway it's oh it's all sticky it's all sticky oh Billy just rip it there we go yuck pokey dotties Oh, this would be a nice, nice liner for something. Look. Oh, yeah. There goes my sombrero on the floor. I love my sombrero. Where'd it go? Here it is. Okay. And she sent me some sticky notes. You can always use sticky notes. We put those over there. Put that there. Put this over here. And, oh, she sent me some stickers. Her and her little stickers. She loves her little stickers. She's always sending me little stickers. I got stickers everywhere. All right, let's see what she did. Ah. Oh, look at this. Oh, isn't this? Look at this. And it's got the bobbles. Can y'all see the bobbles in it? Whoops, there we go. See? The sun just keeps coming in and out. We had a bad, it rained all night. Isn't that pretty? Oh, this is so pretty. And she sent some extra yarn in case we need to do something with it. Oh, thank you, darling, so much. That is so pretty. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Chiquita. You little sweetheart, you. I love her, too. I love her, love her. Okay. Thank you so much for the squares. And, yes, everything, everything looks wonderful. Um, okay, let me think now. There was some other things I was going to talk to. Something else I was going to... Oh, the other thing. You know I make stuff, right? And a lot of the stuff that I make... Isn't the sun... Y'all feel sunshiny? I don't know where you are, but if it's gloomy... Look here. Can you feel the sun on your face? I can. <laughs> Sun's coming in right here, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Well, I made this top. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a pattern by Crystal Bag O' Day. And I made it out of, um, I know that y'all saw that I was making it, but I never showed you the finished product. Well, I made this, um, this top and I kind of modified it a little bit and I made it, you know, it's like a 1X, 2X, somewhere in that. Maybe more to the 2x, but I'll show. I'll I'll uh, hold it up so you can see it. Well, I'll, it's a little bit too heavy for Florida. Uh, it's been washed, and I modified the top a little bit and put some pico stuff around it. And um, I would like to give it away. Yeah. So I thought if anyone is interested in this this uh, top, 
that if you would um, comment below and say um, I like to have the top or you know I'm interested in the top or I want the top or whatever um, put that in the comments I know that when I do the random pick em, picker <laughs> the random picker that it will um, that I get the right per you know the person that really would like to have it so let me hold it up let me hold it up for you and this was her spring or summer summer top or whatever and I would say it's probably 2x maybe maybe like a 2x 3x it's large not large it's plus size and it's long it's long it's plus size and it's the sleeves uh, I put extra sleeves on it so that the sleeves would come down a little bit but if you're interested in this top I would love to give it to you um, all you have to do is mention down below and I'll do a random pick up picker and I'll do the random picker let's see if I send these boxes out I would like to send this out too so let's say and I'll get the other thing too let's say Wednesday Wednesday I will do the random picker for this if anyone would like this top so it is it is a plus size so if you're interested you see I did the Pico see I did the I did the different on the top than her her pattern and I added some below and it's got the slits it's got slits up the side so that it fits better gives you lots of room in the bottom and I added extra on the bottom also and this is cotton this is 100% cotton uh, well it's that a uh, comfy cotton it might have some polyester in it and it has been washed and has some nice seams and in fact I couldn't even find the seams while ago because I found two pieces of yarn hanging out that I had to to put in so if you're interested in this top I'm downsized I'm trying to make room for other stuff so I don't need I would never wear this it's just too hot for me but um, you might be able to so if you would like this make sure you comment below and I'll draw it on Wednesday and then um, mail it to you yep that's what I'll do alrighty so that was one one of my stashes I have some other things I've got to go on I am also yes when I got my hair cut yesterday I talked to my hairdresser and she visits she visits she does hair uh, every Wednesday at a nursing home right down the street from me so I was talking to her and I said well do you think that they I, as I know this is Florida and I know I don't know if they keep the air condition on or what but do you think they would be interested in maybe ha getting some blankets or maybe even some some lightweight hats or whatever so Wednesday I'm going to go down while she's there and I'm going to talk to them and see if they'd be interested and sometimes she said what they do is the nursing home will wrap them up items up and give them to to them at Christmas time so and it is getting close to Christmas but I'll I'll talk to you all about it once I have more information because I do have some blankets here and of course you know I've got hats and um, and if it would make some 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 of those people in nursing homes you know their family forgets them and stuff I mean I, I'd, I'd like to help them out so um, I'll let you know what what happens there so and plus it would be nice to be able to give these blankets to some some folks that would really need them and lightweight blankets you know and like that like this one here um, you know I'm making one of these so I can finish that this was made for me so I keep this right here by me and I got that other one going and I got a couple more that I've done that I've got here so yeah so I could could donate them to them but I'll keep you posted on what I find out there okay all right 24 minutes and I'm just rolling baby rolling 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 it's Saturday and it the, it was very cloudy and rainy this morning now the Sun is peeking through and then it gets dark again we had that tropical storm thing coming through it's further up north but it still affected us you know through the night so 
I don't know. Well, let me tell you what happened. Uh, no, I'm not going to tell you. Nope, I'm not going to tell you. But I have an idea about this rash, but I'll, uh, I'll talk to you about it. This, this rash really does have something to do with the motion of my hand. I've been having this rash off and on for probably 10 years now. But it was always just a few little bumps and then it would go away. Or if I was crocheting really hot and heavy there for days on end, then it would get quite heavy and it would burn and, and it never itched. It never itches. It just it just burns and it swells up and it gets like little lumps underneath the red part. So um, I did, I you know, I've been crocheting a little, you know, I do a row or two and then I drop it and then I go sew or something. Um, but uh, I know you all are worried. You all have given me all kinds of suggestions, but I am, uh, I think there's a difference between the ones down here and the one up, ones up here. But I'll explain all that to you later. I don't feel like talking about it right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus, it's, it's 1225 and I haven't even taken my morning pills yet. Boy, I'm telling you, I'm just getting, so like my knee hurts so bad from, I move stuff around in my craft room. So I've got I got stuff on the floor now from that was on the tables and now I need to put stuff away. But I wanted to get the boxes straightened out um, that I want to send to Cassandra and the stuff straightened out to send to Kim. And I made some more bags last night. I don't know why. I just felt like making bags again. So I've got one going now. I stopped halfway through and I, I looked at Rosie and said, Rosie, I'm tired. Where is she? She's right here. Y'all see it? Look how pretty she is. Look how pretty she is. She wants to get up in the, in the window. She's looking. Go ahead, baby. Do you want me to take this down? All right. Here, I'll take this down. Let me take this down. Okay, baby. Go ahead. Go on. Go ahead. Look at her. Isn't she cute? We could just sit here and look at her for a little while. She is a pretty little girl. Yes, she is. In the middle, of, well, it was 4.30 in the morning when I woke up and it was, um, here she goes. There she goes. And it was pouring down rain and thundering and stuff. And I went to the bathroom. There she was sitting on the rug. When it thunders and rains and stuff, she goes and hides in the bathroom. And then uh, I came out here and laid on the couch. So she laid up on top of me and that's the way we slept this morning so <laughs> I didn't do Friday night live last night I'm telling you guys I just I was just so tired I didn't think I could uh, could do it so yeah so that's it ta-ta <laughs> okay that's it. And don't forget, if you'd like to have that top, it's already made and washed. <laughs> I'm just going to stick it in a bag and mail it to you. But I'm going to get I'm going to get Cassandra um, a nice box together. Maybe it'll cheer her up. Yeah. Okay, everybody. I'm going to say have a nice weekend. I know I won't get any more mail, so we won't see you tomorrow. So um, we'll see how we do on Monday. Uh, yeah. You don't want to be here in Florida. It's um. Oh gosh, I just I just saw on te television. We can do a. I can do a. Uh, come on. Eighty degrees now. At twelve, that's pretty good. Usually it's about ninety. Well, nine. It doesn't get up to ninety till about three o'clock. So it's 80 now, so at 12:30. So that's it's warming up, baby. It's warming up. I hope it's nice where you are because it's nice here today. The grass is so green from all that rain. Plus, I hope I have a handicap spot. There's two handicap spots right here in front of the building. Oh, y'all saw it. Saw me get into it. Well, I went out the other day to go to the doctors. And I'll be damned. 
if my car wasn't full of bird poop. The top, the windshield, and everything. So I had to go and get, uh, I got some bottles of water to, to wash off the windshield with. And I guess the water inside is all gone. I need to have that refilled. But, um, and to wash off the top. Because, you know, that bird poop, the acid, it just eats up your paint. So, anyway, um, Penny came over yesterday, my neighbor. And she says, oh, you'll never guess what I did for you. I said, what did you do for me? She says, well, I parked in the handicapped spot so that when you go out, we'll change. I said, no, 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 no. I said, you go get your car out of that spot because those birds are going to poop all over your car. And it's going to eat your pain up. Well, she thought she was doing me a good deed. And God bless her. I do thank her so much. But I'm not parking underneath. I mean, there must be a truckload of birds up there to have all that poop on my car and that's just a matter of like one or two days usually I park there could be three weeks before I get in the car to go anywhere so or once a month sometimes but lately I've been in that car a lot as you all know going to doctors and stuff like that but Anyway, so no parking in the uh, handicap. Somebody else can get pooped on their car. The poop is going not going to get on my car, that's for sure. Okay, I want to congratulate Jeff. I did, didn't I? From Cindy's. Cindy's, uh, yeah, Jeff. He bought a raffle ticket for his auntie, his aunt. So I'm really excited for him. That is so exciting. But um, it, it was really nice for her... So many of us that we, I think she got up like a thousand dollars to donate. So that's, that's wonderful for breast cancer. I'm just real happy. Well, I know I don't, um, I don't uh, watch as many as I should because if I watched everybody's videos, I would be, I wouldn't get anything done. And as you know, I've got to pick up so I can get the maids in here so they can clean. Plus, uh, if Deb's going to come and stay with me for a while, I need to make sure everything's comfortable for her. So, anyways, I'm going to say goodbye this time for sure. And hopefully, uh, you have a great weekend. Keep hooking. Do something nice this weekend. Be nice to everybody. Life is just so short. We just need to be nice. Very, very nice. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Hey, Cheryl's doing great. She is. She's been having some bad moments lately, but uh, she, she's she's doing okay. She's she's hanging in there. Just taking one day at a time. She's taking some downtime right now. Just to, uh, It's kind of hard for her to talk about it without breaking up. So she's she'll be okay. Really, she will. All right, I love you guys mm, so much. I do, I do. And uh, if you haven't, Sandy Crochet A, Crochet A from Canada. Uh, hi, Sandy. I'm glad you liked your uh, cozy. And if uh, if uh, George wants one, let me know. I'll send him one. But he's got, if he wants one, or if you want to share, that's okay too. But that was yours. All yours. <laughs> It was a thank you for all the kind things that you've done for me, and I surely appreciate it. Take care, everybody. Bye.